The M340i hit a home run in our country, basically becoming the fastest car in production in India. This B58 engine that comes in this M340i is an absolute gem that is capable of pushing up to 800 bhp only on stock internals. But the M340i is pretty committed. It has super stiff suspension, pretty much no ground clearance and yeah, not really a family car. That's why you should pick this. This is the BMW X3 M40i, the most sensible option if you're looking to get a car powered by the B58. Since car enthusiasts like Soham, you guys and I consider the M340i with the B58 a proper enthusiast car, my questions are which one should you pick? The X3 M40i for its added practicality and its added price tag or should you just go for the M340i and save up that money and maybe give up on some practicality? Let's find out. We have spoken about the design on the M340i time and again. But uh, let's talk about the specific spec on this car. It is uh, Dravid Grey in color, exactly how our stage 2 M340i is. And it has this Cerium Grey ORVM. Now when you look at uh, the 792M rims that it comes with, 19 inches, and the bronze or Cerium Grey touches that are there in the front bumper and the rear bumper, it all looks very nice and very timeless. I really like the way this looks over even the LCI because I think the LCI is a bit too busy in the front and the back. But yeah, this is my perfect spec M340i in my opinion. And even in the rear, I feel the pre-LCI M340i looks really nice. The bumper is not like the LCI's. It's a much cleaner design. It gets the cerium grey badges all around in the back, X-Drive and M340i badges. It gets this nice little lip spoiler over here. And overall, I think it's just the cleaner design out of the two compared to the LCI. So let's talk about the X3 now. So unlike the 340i that we have for this particular video, this is the X3 LCI. So it gets the updated headlights, tail lights, bumpers, and a lot of stuff in the interior as well. If you're a gamer, you uh, and if you ever played Halo, this tail light looks like the Halo sword. I think so. Bhavni has found out it has some word in BMW's nomenclature. I'm not sure what it's called. What is it called? Pincer tail lights. Okay. So whatever that is, but it looks really cool and the headlights look really menacing. This particular car is finished in all black, so it looks like a mafia car. Looks very menacing and yeah, it looks really nice in my opinion. It has the exhaust surrounds just like the 340i. It has a diffuser. It has some fake stuff going on like these vents over here and in the front. But overall, it's a very good looking car. Nothing really to complain about. Imagine this car with black wheels. Yep. Mafia spec. Yeah. In fact, the car in terms of dimensions is perfect. It's not very big, it's not very small. But when you look at it, it is very menacing, which definitely adds to uh, that road presence, which is something you really like. Now let's get on to the engine quickly. This is the B58, three liters of turbo straight six goodness. But these two cars have a slight variation. The pre-LCI M340i makes roughly 382 HP and 500 Newton meters of torque, which is mated to a ZF 8-speed torque converter gearbox. If you get the M340i LCI, you get 374 HP and 500 Newton meters of torque, slightly less power. And the ZF 8 gearbox also gets an electric motor, making the LCI models mild hybrids. In the case of the X3, it makes 355 horsepower and 500 Newton meters of torque, lesser power than the M340i LCI2, and it also gets a ZF8 speed with an electric motor. Can you really feel the power difference? Not really, but you can definitely hear the difference in exhaust modes. LCI B58 sound way better than the LCI ones and especially in the case of the X3 M40i, most of the straight 6 noise is pumped into the cabin by the speakers. Do I hate it? Not really, but in terms of noise, the M340i takes it for sure. Now let's get to the big difference and the real reason why you would buy the X3 M40i over the M340i, space and practicality. Now 
We tried to find out the ground clearance of the X3M 40i online, but for some reason these publications think the 340i and the X3M 40i have the same ground clearance of 130mm, which is definitely not true. So we searched on the USA sites and it shows the ground clearance of the X3M 40i to be 204mm, a whole 74mm more than the M3 40i, which means it is much easier to roam around in on our Indian roads. Then comes the interior space. The M340i is compact and snug with it being a tight squeeze for people in the rear seat, especially tall ones. And the boot space is only 480 litres. The X3 on the other hand is much more roomy, gets a massive panoramic sunroof, 550 litres of boot space, loads more space for rear passengers and feels much more luxurious than the M340i overall. The M340i feels hunkered down and sporty whereas the X3 M40i strikes a good balance between sporty and luxury although this particular spec had carbon fibre lathered all in the inside. So we have taken the X3 out to see what it's like because I really feel like it's not that outright sports car that you would expect from an M product but it's an SUV so you've got to give it a little bit of that benefit of the doubt but yeah if you're looking for outright performance and dynamics then you should be looking at the sedan variant for this sure. does add quite a lot of practicality since the cabin is nice and big, there's quite a bit more space in the rear and you get a little bit more boot space but you do pay the price of performance and there's no denying about that. I agree. So I just wanted to correct you on one thing. This is not an M product, let's be honest. It is an M Lite. It is... M Lite, I mean, by the amount of badges that the, this thing has got, it's above 15 badges at least. I agree. So they have gone overboard with the badges. You have a massive M badge over here. I mean, it's all over the place and this particular interior is, you know, like lathered up with carbon fibre everywhere. So, they have tried to go on for like a proper M, but it isn't, let's be honest, still has the B58. Again, fantastic motor. But the thing is, in this particular car, it uh, is a little detuned. It makes 355 HP and uh, 500 Newton meters of torque. In the M340i, it makes somewhere around 370 to 380 horsepower. Uh, but apart from that, it's basically the same same thing. It is 3 litre turbocharged in line 6, paired to an 8 speed ZF torque converter gearbox. Uh, both of the cars, you know, in terms of the power delivery and all of that, feel pretty much the exact same. Probably this thing is slightly slower than an M340i because of the weight. Uh, so I think so 0 to 60 is one of the best ways to find that out. 4.9 seconds compared to 4.4 or 4.5. Yes. But it is still very fast for an SUV. No doubt about that. It definitely picks up pace, especially in a straight line. Oh my God, it is crazy. And uh, the other good thing about this is that in terms of body roll, it handles fairly decently. So let's just uh, talk about, you know, what this, like who, which, what consumer this car is aimed at. I feel it is for someone who has the money for an M340i, they take their family to the showroom and the wife is just like, no, no not no, no. possible. Where will the kids sit? Where will the kids sit? Where will my shopping go? Exactly. So, the 3 Series, the G23 Series, it is a little bit lacking in terms of that. Space is not that good. The boot space is, well, not that good. So, this is the perfect compromise in that sense. You get a big, massive family SUV and you still get the powertrain and drivetrain of an M340i. So in that sense, I think so it's targeted at a very specific customer. And yeah, I think so in that sense, it's a very good car. But in terms of an SUV, there are a couple of compromises that you will have to do. For example, the suspension is pretty stiff yeah. for an SUV. 
let's talk about the big one. One crore rupees on road probably for a, just a little bit less. Just a little bit less than a crore for this car. Uh, so in that sense, probably someone who is not looking for outright performance would rather get an X5. But if you want yes. performance and an SUV together around the one crore mark, this is the only option you have. For sure, and it is a very nice all-rounder. Yes, it doesn't excel in any place whatsoever, but it does whatever you ask from it. And if you need to overtake someone, it's going to do it. If you need to take the kids to school, it's going to do it. And even if you want to have a little bit of fun in the canyons, it's also going to do it. Uh, but yeah, a crore is a big asking price, especially when you consider it's a 20-ish lakh rupee premium over the sedan. I agree. But again, you do get much more space. You yes. do get a lot of, you know, just... I wouldn't say creature comforts, but I just feel it's a more practical, more uh, just a nicer car for a family. For sure, for sure. Because like, uh, let's be completely honest, the M340i in stock suspension is still stiff. Very stiff. It's still stiff. And like, if you take your wife out in that, she's not going to be happy. Yeah. If you take your parents out in that, they're not going to be happy. So this does bring that compromise where it's a bit more livable. We also should talk about the driving modes. Because in my opinion, this is very uh, good at being different cars. Because in sport, yeah. it is a completely different animal. Yes. In Eco Pro, it's uh, it's the same animal but half dead, yeah. and it is very apparent. The characteristics of the car definitely change when you change car modes, and it's not something that you could notice in. I mean, in the S5 that we drove recently, it wasn't that aggressive. But here, yeah, if you just put it in. S, the transmission in S and the thing in sport, the response is crazy. Just look at this much. Yeah, yeah. yeah it just exactly. becomes nervous. Yeah, it becomes very highly strung. Yeah. Just so, with a mode change. So for sure, this has a sports car in it. Yeah. But outright competition with the M340i sedan, it just... It, uh, it, does, it but makes that sense. is something that you expect. Exactly. That but is something that you expect. You're giving away some performance for much more practical. Exactly. So the trade-off is I think so a net positive. Exactly. So this I think has come a little later because I'm pretty sure there have been a lot of complaints of people going to the BMW showroom and being like, wife nahi maan hai yaar. Yeah, yeah. And, and I, I, I know a lot of people who exactly. have sold their M340i yeah. because it's pretty committed in that Exactly. Sense. So how about we jump into the 340i and just relive what is probably one of the best bang for bucks in the market right now. You read my mind. So driving the 340i again, I think so this year we've driven, at least I have driven quite a few 340i's. And yeah, I'm really happy to be back in the seat of one. Back in a stock one. Back in a, a stock while. one, yeah. So in its stock form, it makes 370 bhp and 500 newton meters of torque somewhere which around is, that yeah which is a bit quite a bit quite a bit yeah for especially for indian roads and uh, the way it is set up in a 3 series it makes it not too big not too small it is good enough dimensions for you to have enough fun for it to be predictable enough not snappy while pushing it and yeah with the all wheel drive system uh, that this comes with x drive it's fantastic. It's a very difficult car to uh, basically put in a wall. Yep. It's a grip monster. Yep. Something that I didn't really feel in the X3M40i. It was a lazier car. I think so. That was down to the tires. I think so. That yeah, particular car bit. had no tires on it. The tires. I mean, BMW India, if you're watching this, change the tires. Change the tires, please. Because it was pretty sketchy at some points. But I think so. That car also has good amounts of grip. But I just think because it's taller, the center of gravity yeah, it is, is much higher. higher. Uh, so the handling is not as good. Of course, being an SUV, the handling will take a little bit of a hit. But overall, the XC handles very well. But this, this is, is just is it, a, a different level because again, it's a sedan, lower, and you of course have its downsides. I mean, going over speed breakers, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. It's very stiff. It's very stiff for yeah. a sedan of this caliber. It is very stiff. This is not an M3. 
yet it is super stiff and i think so a lot of people have those particular complaints saying it's very stiff now we just have a little open patch we'll put it into sport and let's see what sort of a different sport in this car makes because in the x3 it it's was a night and day difference it's a night and day difference definitely feel that this is faster because it's lugging around less weight uh, it feels more responsive it revs so much more urgently yeah breath of fresh air always yeah yeah such a nice car and yeah over these bumps the x3 was like a luxury car this is yeah, this is like a sports car giving you each and every bit yeah <laughs> of the you outside can feel each and every bump in it but that's not a bad thing of course It's good if you are single or if you are just you and your girlfriend or something like that. It's But you with the car, bro. Yeah. That's you and the car. But yeah, that is uh, exactly the kind of client that needs to buy this car. It's the one who has no compromises. I want a sports car. Yeah, I need to fit some people in it from time and time, time again. Time and time again, but it is for me. Yeah. This car is mine. And that is the one who should pick the M340i. over the X3 M40i yeah and it just drives so nicely and overall i think so both of us are uh, fans of sedan so of <laughs> yeah. course our bias will be a little bit towards the four door sedan but yeah i get why people would people would buy the X3 it's basically an M340i on stilts and <laughs> yeah it's just so smooth the B58 is just a beautiful engine and it's, i love this driving experience there's, there's nothing a reason, you can complain about yeah and talking about the b58 there's a reason why there this block is there in pretty much each and every generation and model of uh, bmw plus more like the supra yeah i mean it's in the x5 x7 7 series 6 series no i don't think it's in the 6 series it's in the 5 series as well it's in the 3 series i mean most of the 40i models have not come to india yeah uh, but it's in a lot a of lot models. of them and it is one of the most versatile engines it's a powerhouse of an engine and yeah if you want a more practical way of putting that engine to use the X3 M40i is, is the way to go is the way to go but if you want outright performance at least in india m340 m340i yeah if you want outright performance proper driving feels handling that is uncomparable in this particular segment Don't look any further than the M340. Of course, it's a little impractical in terms of its ground clearance, how many people you can sit and how you can use it. But if you just want it as a driving experience, I don't think it gets much better than the M340i. But if you want a Mr. Do It All, something that can go in the middle of the city, that can take slightly rough roads, go on road trips, and still be a borderless car, then well, the X3 M40i is. a very good proposition it's a comfortable car to drive the driving modes are very different which means that when you put it in full sport mode it is a very good performing car and yeah you do compromise on a little bit of performance and dynamics but you still have a car that you can practically use every single day no problem at all so if you are that sensible man choose the X3 M40i thank That's you so to- much for watching <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I think so both of us would choose the M340i because we don't have kids or any wives or anything or like that. So this is definitely our pick but we do really like that car. Makes so, sense. Yeah. Follow us on Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube channel, comment down below what you would choose and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.